Hi, welcome to my new video. DaVinci Resolve is an amazing tool when it's starting from basic YouTube video editing to movie production. And I'm talking about the free version right now, okay? The paid version is a completely different tier, but this is beside the point. Now, I are thinking of switching to Linux, for example. Then installing DaVinci Resolve is not impossible. It works quite well when you know how to install it because it is not quite as easy as some other programs would be. So in this video I will tell you how to install DaVinci Resolve on the Linux system so that it works independently of your main distro packages. What do I mean with that? How stable is it? How does it work? How does it integrate into the system? Watch the video! I'm working on Arch Linux and DaVinci Resolve does exist in the AUR, so theoretically I could install it directly via the yay command. The thing is it does not always work, sometimes it's broken, sometimes that's beside the point. Now maybe you want to have full control over the version you are utilizing. Maybe you just want to have an environment to install DaVinci Resolve into which is way more stable for example. And you do this via Distrobox. Distrobox is, uh, is something you can find in the description. I've made a video about it. But to put things blunt, DaVinci Resolve. Yeah. Distrobox is a tool which allows you to install Linux subsystems inside Linux. Okay, what does that mean? For example, you can install a Debian environment inside Arch Linux, a Rocky Linux environment inside Fedora, for example. So what does that mean? That if you install, for example, inside Linux, Arch Linux, a Debian environment into which you install a certain program, it runs through the Debian packages. So for this one pa program, you have guarantee of extra stability compared to the programs outside of this container. The first choice you are going to have to make is which version of Linux do I want to install DaVinci Resolve into. Now DaVinci Resolve is optimized for multiple distros, maybe CentOS, Rocky Linux. First things first, the installation. Now if you might be asking yourself how can I install DistroBox when it's not in my repositories? In the video in the description you can find the explanation for everything. One thing I need to mention before I create this container, which is to create a unique home directive for this container. The only reason why I'm doing this is so that the container writes its own configuration files, not in my real home directive so it's not messing things up, but in a separate folder. So now I have this unique home folder, I'm going in there and on top of here double click no, and copy this entire path here. We are going to need it. Then open my terminal. Again, in the previous video of the description I've talked about Distrobox in all its details, so I'm jumping over the details here in this video. Distrobox create name rocky linux for example yeah. rocky linux then we can clear it
And now you can sudo dnf update. A Fedora command. Now, as you might see, indifferent if you're working with an Arch host system or Debian host system, in this container you work in a Fedora-ish environment. And that's why you're working with the DNF command here. So, we want to install DaVinci Resolve into Rocky Linux 9. But before we can do this, first of all, we need to install RPM Fusion. I'm just quickly gonna go over it. In the description, you can find all the lines, all the commands. You just need to copy paste all of them into your terminal. Okay, so I did the work for you. So what you need to do is to install the free and the non-free RPM Fusion repositories. Again, in my case, you just need to copy paste them in. Then press yes. And voila. Then we install the Apple release repository. Enable set repository. Voila. And before you do anything else, we make a system update again. Sudo dnf update. Okay. Now the most important command of all entire Linux is sudo dnf install fast fetch. And now we can just run it. Voila. And now you can even now you can even install VLC player for example. DNF install VLC. And you can check if the installation was successful by VLC minus minus version. Voila! Installation was successful. So after installing inside the container RPM Fusion, blah blah blah, you can either just open the terminal and type in distrobox list or do it via box body. And it's the container we have created earlier. So what to do now? Rocky Linux functions like any other Fedora-based system. Because in order to install packages into it, you need to add first of all install RPM Fusion and some other repositories. I'm going to show you how. Also in the description you can also find these commands. Then what we need to do is go to the DaVinci Resolve homepage. And what we need to do is to install DaVinci Resolve directly. To the Black Magic Center. And here DaVinci Resolve. Download it, put in your credentials, and then download it. Then find out where I need to install it, and voila. And if you would want to, you can also install Blackmagic RAW, for example. And now here we are. What we need to do first is to unzip them. So and now what I'm going to do is open terminal here, but need to be careful, right now you are in the host system, not the container into which you want to install it. So what you need to do, this Dropbox list, then whatever name you have given your container here, then this Dropbox enter, and voila. 
Then at last the installation process is really easy. I will just show you how. After setup was successful, you can type in ls. And first things first, we want to enter this folder here. So what you can do is cd, then press star, winch for example, then press tab to autocomplete it, press enter, ls again. And here you have our .run file. Just type in sudo dot slash and copy paste it in. And then here, please install the following missing packages. And what you need to do is copy them here. sudo dnf install Again, in the description, you can find everything. And then just call enter it. And then rerun DaVinci Resolve.run. And now, further through the process here. Show the log, for example. And now the installation was successful. And here we have the, the raw file. But what we also want to do is to install Blackmagic Raw. Go into here, where you have the RPM file. Open terminal here. Distrobox. Enter. Rocky Linux minus test. Press ls. Here we have the RPM file. As you can remember earlier, we have enabled RPM Fusion. And it's the same principle here. You just type in sudo dnf install. Voila. Press yes. And it is the entire magic behind it. So now what you can do is just open box body, for example. Go to the container, open the terminal. And now if you go to opt, resolve, bin, resolve. Then DaVinci Resolve should start up. And wow, well, we are in there. Now to launch DaVinci Resolve from outside of the container. So you do not have to open the terminal inside the container every time you want to use DaVinci Resolve. You can use Distrobox export minus minus app, then opt, resolve, bin, resolve. The thing is, I was able to do this, even if I click onto this icon here, it does not launch. In box body, you can call the container, view applications. Then you can see all the tools you have installed. Yeah, even we'll see Media Player, for example, but even DaVinci Resolve. And for most other pro programs, you should be able to run it, but it does not work. It worked earlier, but then an update came and it no longer did, for me at least. Now you have installed DaVinci Resolve. Now you've opened it, it works perfectly fine, yada yada yada. Now, here are some last configuration steps I would recommend you to take to make it easier to pull in and to export videos, pictures, whatever. So if nothing really works for you, no, not DaVinci, uh, not Distrobox export or via box body, then you just need to type in opt resolve, bin resolve into your terminal inside the container every time. It's not that big of a problem, to be honest, it's just a mild inconvenience. And then press enter, 
and through this process it works every time. So now here I have my host system, which is Arch Linux, and here the container I'm working with, Rocky Linux. And as you can see, I mean, in the previous video, in the description you can find it, I've talked about all of this in more detail, but you can see the GPU, CPU, both of them are accessing the exact same hardware. So more or less, under exclamation mark, I'm running two operating systems simultaneously, having both equal access to my hardware, basically. It's not that correct of a statement, but yeah, it's really amazing because if you are working with a very fragile program inside a container here, let's just say, and you make an update on your host system, it's unaffected by your host system. And before I forget, something extremely important for you to know. So let me open terminal here. Okay. So, yes. For example, you have... Now, this is my root drive, basically, on which my operating system itself is installed on. But you want to store your videos, whatever, on an external SSD. And in my case, it's Micron, for example. And this here is the directive for which I access it. So basically, what I'm trying to say is I open the terminal here. Now, I will do it later. Because what we need to do, first of all, opt, resolve, bin. Resolve. So let it load. Because CD slash and then LS. And here you can see the drives folder. The drives folder is my mount point into which I have mounted my external drives into. And so what I want to do is, for example, add new location. You go onto media in DaVinci Resolve, add new location. And here you are in the root directive. But you can see there's no drives folder because it's the container's root directive and not the host root directive. How do you access it? You go to run host, run, so slash run, slash host, and then you are in the system, host system root directive. And now you can go to drives, for example, and here you can go to Micron, for example. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this video was kind of helpful, interesting, and yeah, keep working because there's still much to so do and go read Berserk.